Welcome to the palace. Enjoy the club. Right, I'll get you to come onto the mat to start. Okay. No, I'll take it lying on your back. Or left. Welcome to Barcelona. If you're joining us, thank you very much. If you have your mat available, please find your way onto the back of the mat. On your back, lying on your back. Feel the back body connected to the floor. And then pull the knees into the chest, open the knees wide. Press the soles of the feet together and open your knees as wide as they can. Let gravity pull the knees down towards the floor. Just allow yourself here time to be present with your practice. Feel the back body fully supported by the earth. The feet open wide. Have the palms facing up. Now start to breathe entirely through the nose. Restrict the vocal cords. One breath moves into the body. One breath moves out of the body. Uh, allowing this breath just to fill your entire being. Let it permeate into every part of your soul. Feel the air as it pushes into the back of the lungs, pushes down into the legs. Relax the muscles in the face, relax the muscles in the jaw. Let the shoulders melt away off the body. the eyes just sit deep into the sockets, no tension in the eyeballs, let it all go, especially the muscles around the jawline. Take the arms overhead and interlace the fingers. And just stretch up as high as you can, lengthen both sides of the body. Now maybe you take opposing elbows and just rest here for a minute. Really letting the breath become fully absorbed. And then bring the knees back together. Rolling over onto your stomachs. Bring your hands and knees to the floor and find all fours. Good. Just pressing the floor with the hands, connect down to the floor through each one of the fingertips. As you inhale, arch the back and look up. Exhale, round the spine, take the gaze to the navel. Just feel your spine wake up, inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round the spine, press the floor. Inhaling, arch, look up. Exhale, round, look to the floor. A couple more like that at your own rhythm, just allowing your spine to become Extended, contracted, feeling the muscles either side of the spine engaging, extending, feeling the floor underneath you. And then once you're ready, tuck your toes under, press your hips high, find downward facing dog. Sitting bones lift back and up, bend the knees slightly and just allow your hips to be higher than they usually would be. Try and push the sitting bones as far back and up as you can, try and extend both sides of your body. Upper arms rotate slightly outwards, expanding through the chest. Let the gaze be soft, hang the head between the hands. 
Maybe slowly starting to extend through the legs. Lift up onto the toes, bend one knee, then the other long, the heel down to the floor. Good, switch the legs over. And keep switching, keep following the breath, keep pressing the hands down into the floor. Sitting bones always pressing back and up. Never stopping that pressure of the hands down into the mat, sitting bones high. Shoulders trying to spread away from each other, creating space through the back muscles. Good, lift the sitting bones up and then take both heels back to the mat. Inhale, float the body forward into a plank. Exhale, take it back into a downward facing dog. Good, a couple more like that. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, take it all the way back. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, float back. Stay there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Float the body forward into plank. Exhale. Lower the knees, the chest and the chin to the floor. The elbows stay tucked in. Inhale. Slide the body forward. Bull Jangasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the seat to the heels and extend through your legs. Deep, full breath in. Deep, full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Move with the breath. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Elbows are tucked. Inhale, body forward. Bhujangasana, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, extend through your legs. Down dog. Stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, just inhale, take the right leg back up to the sky, bend the right knee and roll the right hip on top of the left, press both hands down into the floor, keep your shoulders level, lift the right knee a little bit more towards the sky, you want extension, the right leg up, good, and bring the leg back down to the floor, next to the left, Ardha Mukha, inhale, take the left leg back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, roll the hip on top. Keep pressing the hands and the feet. Lift higher due to the hands pressing down. The more you press your hands down, the more you can extend your leg up. Good, keep the shoulders level while you do this. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, take it down. Inhale, float forward into a plank. Exhale, drop the knees, the chest, the chin to the floor. Inhale, slide forward, bull jangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, push the seat to the heels. Walk the hands to the feet, slowly lengthening. Press the feet down into the floor, take opposing elbows, soften the knees first, and let the head hang forward. Move from side to side, let the torso sway. Now start to extend through the legs. Switch the hands on the elbows. Engage the midline of the legs, start to really press the floor away with all four corners of each foot. And then tiptoe your feet as wide as your mat. Have your heels facing slightly outwards and then bend the knees coming into a deep squat. Use the elbows to push the knees wide, bring the chest forward, roll the shoulders back and down. Stay here. Keep trying to expand through the chest. Keep trying to roll the shoulders back, sinking into your hips deeper and deeper. Sending the breath deep into the hips. Good, then release the hands to the floor, extend through the legs. Tiptoe the feet back together and roll your way up to standing vertebrae by vertebrae. Good, all four corners of each foot pressed down. The ankle bones are touching slightly. Gaze is straight forward. As you inhale, take your arms up overhead, look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step it back, then lower yourself down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale two, stay with that. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, and exhale, soften the knee, look forward. 
Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the hands to the sky, look up. Exhale, release, tada. One more of those. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhaling, fold all the way through. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, one. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Follow it in. Push it out. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath in. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhaling, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, look to your fingertips. Exhaling, breathe. Inhale, bend the knees, come into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward and extend through the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, left heel to the floor. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, take the hands to the floor, lower yourself down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, take it to the floor, step it back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, equalize the breath in. Inhale. Exhale, push the breath out. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look four. Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is four. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, come into a chair pose. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Jiva Mukti Surya Namaskar. Inhale, hook thumbs and reach up and arch back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms behind you, extend through your legs, fold. Inhale, hands to the floor, step the right foot back into lunge, look forward. Exhale, left foot next to right, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, drop knees, chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, slide the body forward, bull jump down. Exhale, duck toes, seat the heels, extend through your legs. Inhale, step the right foot forward to lunge, look forward. Exhale, left foot next to right and fold over your legs. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, extend the legs and arch back. Exhale, bend the knees, swing the arms behind your back, extend your legs, fold forward. Inhale, place the hands on the floor, step the left foot back. Exhale, right foot next to left, down dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward into lunge. Oh, sorry, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, forward, bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, seat the heels, extend through the legs. Inhale, left foot steps forward, lunge. Exhale, right foot next to left and fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Good, inhale, bend the knees, come into a deep squat, chair pose, yes, but take the seat a little lower than you normally would. Squeeze the knees together and take it down a little bit more, press the feet into the floor. Good, stay there, just let the legs feel the floor beneath you, press the feet down, and just lengthen the hands a little bit higher up. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Good, and on the next exhale, fold forward, extend your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling upward, facing dog. Exhaling downward, facing dog. Stay here. Follow your breath. Press your hands into the floor evenly. Keep the sitting bones lifted towards the sky. Deep, full breath. Breath is pushed into the back of the lungs and it's pushed throughout the body. Good. One more breath and then soften your knees, look forward. 
Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in. Now, separate your feet hip distance apart. Bend the knees as much as you need to and just peace grip your big toes. Lock the thumb on top of the peace fingers. Start to extend through the legs. Lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold over. Take the elbows wide. Take the chest towards the thighs. Keep pushing the feet down into the floor. Good. Keep folding yourself forward. And if it's too much on the back of the hamstrings, soften the knees. Allow the energy to flow through the back of the legs. You don't want it to be restricted. Keep breathing. Keep folding yourself forward. One more deep breath. Good. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, place the hands on the hips. Inhale, with a flat back, come all the way up. Exhale, step the feet back together. Inhale, take the arms up overhead, look to thumbs. Exhale, fold forward and extend through your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, look up. Exhale, down with facing dog. Step the right foot between the hands as you inhale. Exhale, lower the left knee down to the floor. Good, take both hands onto the right knee. Lift the chest, push the right knee forward. Sink your hips as low as they go. Lift the chest and expand through the spine. Keep the shoulder blades away from each other. You're expanding through the body. Keep sinking down into the hip. Good, breathing in. Breathing in. Breathing in. Breathing out, take the hands to the floor, step back into downward facing dog. And then on the next inhale, step the left foot forward. Exhale, lower the right knee down. Take both hands to the left knee, push the left knee forward, lift the chest. Sink down into the hips, just allow the body to open. Allow the hips to open. Good, stay with your breathing here and really surrender into that hip. And then release the hands to the floor, step it back down with facing dog. Challenge the hips a little bit higher. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, move the body forward into plank. Exhale, lower down onto the forearms and take a low plank. Good, just drop the hips down a little bit. You want one straight line from your hips to your ankles. Squeeze the tummy in, activate the core. And then lift back up onto the hands. Take it back down with facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot between the hands. Exhale, extend the right leg. Keep the back heel off the floor. Inhale, re-bend the right leg. Hands are on the floor next to the foot. Exhale, extend. Good, inhale, re-bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, re-bend. Exhale, extend. Step the back foot in slightly, ground your heel. Square your hips, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, fold forward. Just allow your body to fold forward over the right leg, the chin and the chest track over the line of the right leg. Press the ball of the right foot into the floor and make sure the outside edge of the left foot has contact. Squeeze the legs together, squaring the hips, lengthen the chest forward. Interlace the fingers and take the arms overhead behind your back. Tuck the chin into the chest and fold yourself in a little bit more. Breathe in here. Good. One more. And release the hands to the floor. And as you exhale, step back down with face. Inhale, step the left foot between the hands. Exhale, extend the left leg. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend. Now step the back foot in slightly and ground your heel. Square your hips, lengthen your spine. Press down through the feet and as you exhale, fold forward over that left leg. Breathe for a few breaths here. Make contact with the ball of the left foot into the floor and squeeze the legs together, keeping the hips square. Now interlace the fingers behind the back. Roll the shoulders over the head. Tuck the chin into the chest. Create a little bit more length through the spine. Keep the pressure of the feet into the floor at all times. Right heel presses firmly down, hips are square. Release the hands to the floor and step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, float your body forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, left heel down. Come up, warrior one. 
Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, extend through the right leg, and exhale, reach the right fingertips forward and down for Trikonasana. Gaze is at the left fingertips if it feels good on the neck. Allow your breath to be fully present. Strong legs, squeeze the legs together. Reach the left fingertips a little bit higher. Extend both sides of your body. Crown of the head lengthens forward. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knee, warrior two. Inhale, windmill the hands to the floor. Step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga dangas. Inhaling upward facing dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, extend through the left leg. Exhale, reach the left fingertips forward and down for Trikonasana. Gaze at the right fingertips if it feels okay. Inhale, exhale one, breathe. Inhale, exhale two, squeeze the legs together. Keep lengthening both sides of the body forward. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward. One more deep breath here. Good, now inhale, press the feet down, lift yourself up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, take the hands to the floor, step back into plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms, lift all the way up, look up at the thumbs. Exhaling, release. Good, separate the feet, hip distance apart. Press down firmly through your feet. Keeping the hips directly on top of the ankles, fold yourself forward. Good, keep those hips there. Keep pressing the feet down. Good, now soften the knees and slide the palms underneath the feet. Bending the knees as much as you need to to get the palms firmly underneath. Then relax the head forward and start to extend through the legs, but only once it becomes strenuous through the back. Don't push it too far. Allow the shoulders to stay away from the ears, opening the hamstrings. Pull on the hands into the feet. Push a little bit more weight into the ball of the foot. Lean yourself forward a little bit more and lift the sitting bones a little bit higher. Keep pushing the air into the back of the legs. Good. Next breath, you inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, place the hands on the hips. Inhale with the flat back, come all the way up. Exhale, release, tada. Inhale, take your arms up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way up. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Step the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand. Drop the left knee to the floor. Bring the right hand to the right knee. Take the left hand to the floor. Push the hand into the knee and open through your chest. Push the right knee out to the side and you'll be on the outer blade of your right foot. Keep expanding through your chest. Keep pressing the left hand down and the right hand into the knee. Look over that shoulder, keep breathing, keep opening the hip, good. Now come back to centre, tuck the back toes under and extend through the back leg. If your hands are on the floor, maybe drop down onto the forearms. Pull the forearms in towards the body and lengthen the crown of the head forward. That's it. Open the hip, breathing in, breathing out. If you want a little bit more challenge, you can take a bind by threading the right arm underneath the right leg, taking the left arm around the back, or you might stay here. Stay for a few more deep breaths wherever you are. If you've found the bind, release the bind. And everybody take their hands to the floor and push back up. And as you exhale, step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot to the outside edge of the left hand. Drop the back knee to the floor. Good, take the left hand to the left knee. Push the right hand into the floor and the left hand into the knee. Open that hip out to the side. Keep lifting the chest. Keep broadening through the collarbones. Keep letting the left hip open now. Stay for a few more breaths. 
and release the hands back to the floor. Tuck the back toes under, extend the spine forward, and if it feels okay, lower down onto your forearms. If you're good here, pull the forearms in towards the body and lengthen the crown of the head forward. If you want a little bit more, you can thread the left arm underneath the left leg, take the right arm around the back, catch the right wrist and find a bind. Pull the crown of the head forward and extend through the spine. Just allow the breath to be fluid, calm and relaxed. Now place the hands on the floor, coming back. And everybody exhale, step back down and face the top. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, floating forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga, all the way down onto the abdomen. Release the arms forward, take the forearms to the floor in front of you. Have your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Keep pulling the elbows in towards the body and move the chest forward and up. Expand across the front part of the bone, the shoulder, the collarbones. Keep pressing the hips down into the floor. Lengthen the crown of the head up. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Just explore your spine. Good, now exhale. Tuck the toes under, push it back into a plank position. Lift the core, hold yourself there. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in, breathing out. Lower the hips down to the floor, point the toes and lift back up into the sphinx position. Good. Extend the arms forward, lie all the way down onto your abdomen. Bring the arms alongside the body, interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze your ankles together, roll your shoulders back and down. And as you inhale, lift your shoulders, lift your ankles off the floor. Lengthen the body at the same time as doing this. Can you lift a little bit higher? Challenge yourself to go as high as you can with the shoulders and the ankles, but also to find as much length as you can. And then release down all the way. One cheek to the floor, just move your hips from side to side. Bend the knees and touch the ankles from the outside edges, rolling the shoulders back and down, opening through the chest. Inhale, kick the feet into the hands, come up. The more you kick your feet into the hands, the higher you're gonna go. So keep the knees as close together as you can. Keep kicking the feet into the hands, keep pulling yourself up. Take the gaze straight forward. Feel your shoulders being open. One more deep breath, kick as hard as you can. Lower yourself all the way down. One cheek to the floor, just move the hips from side to side. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes under and extend your legs. Find an ard or mukhasvanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, floating forward into plank. Exhale, move onto the outside edge of the right foot and the right hand. And as you inhale, lift the left arm up to the sky. Side plank, lift the hips as high as you, high as you can. If you want to, lift that top leg up to the sky. The left leg can lift. Keep Lifting the hips when you lift the leg off the floor though. Don't let the hips fall down because you lifted the leg. Just stay strong through the core. Press the hand down, right hand down into the floor. Lift a little bit higher. And then inhale, move back into plank. Exhale, go onto the outside edge of the left foot. And inhale, extend the arm up to the sky. If you did so on the other side, lift the top leg. Keep pressing the hand down into the floor. Keep lifting the hips. Keep tightening through the waist. Good. One more deep breath. And then come back into a plank. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Inhale, slide forward into Bhujangasana. Now just stay here. Activate the back muscles and lift the hands off the floor. You want to keep your shoulders lifted and keep the crown of the head off the floor. Press the pelvis down into the floor. Good, take the hands back to the floor. Tuck the toes under, extend through the legs, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathing in. Breathe. Inhale, float forward into plank. Exhale, drop the knees down to the floor. Lift up, stand on your knees. Have the toes tucked under, pressing down into the floor. Bring the hands to the hips, find your sacrum. Press your sacrum forward, lift your chest high, then arch your back, take your hands to your ankles. If it feels okay, open through the chest. Keep pushing the hips forward though. Keep trying to create length through the spine. Push it forward a little bit more with the hips. Keep lifting the hips high. Good. One more deep breath in this position. And inhale, come up. Point the toes, sit back on your heels. Twist over the right shoulder. 
Come back to center. Twist over the left shoulder. Come back to center. Find your way back into downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale chaturanga all the way onto your abdomen. Extend the right arm forward. Roll over onto the back. Bend the knees. Place the feet close to the buttocks. Feet a hip distance apart, parallel. Arms are alongside the body. Press the heels down, lift the hips off the floor. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Roll the shoulders back and down. Move the chest a little bit more towards the chin as you press the heels down into the floor, creating more space through the back muscles. Push down, lift up. Chest to chin. That's it. Keep moving the breath through the body. And release the palms next to you. Lower yourself down. Now if you feel like it, you can go into a full wheel position. Hands next to the ears with the fingers facing towards you. And as you inhale, press the hands, press the feet, come up. Exhale, stay there. Keep pressing the floor. Keep opening the chest. Keep the breath moving. Stay present with whatever is arising. Tuck the chin to the chest, lower yourself onto the back. Allow the sensation. Pull the knees into the chest. Wrap the right leg around the left leg, double wrap and include the calf muscle. Then let the knees fall over to the left side of the room. Take the gaze out over the right shoulder. Breathe. And come back to center. Swap the legs now, wrap the left leg around the right leg. And then let the knees fall over to the right side of the room. Take the gaze out over your left shoulder. Open through the chest, melting into the floor. Coming back to center. Unwrap the legs, hug the knees into the chest. Rock and roll up and down your spine and come to a comfortable seated position. Spin around, face the front of the mat and extend both legs forward. Flex the feet. Press the hands into the floor next to the sitting bones and just extend the crown of the head a little bit higher through that pressure down. Activate the legs, lengthen the spine, look forward, exhale, fold over your legs, Paschimottanasana. Keep pressing the backs of the feet down. Keep pressing the backs of the calf muscles into the floor and keep pressing the backs of the hamstrings down into the floor. The whole back leg extends down into the floor. Push the air into the legs here. Expand the chest if you can. Try and take the shoulders a little bit wider from each other. Move the chest a little bit more forward. Keep the spine extended. You don't want to compress through the back of the neck. And release, come up as you inhale. Pull the right knee into the chest and let the right knee fall out to the side. Press the right foot into the left thigh bone. Not that one. No, no, go. Pull the right knee into the chest. Let the right knee fall out to the side. There we go. Square the hips. <laughs> and exhale, fold forward. Keep pressing the right foot into the left thigh bone here and try and roll the right knee down a little bit more into the floor. Open that right leg out to the side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Opening that right hip a little bit more. Inhale, pop up. Pull the right knee into the chest. Now you can take the right foot to the outside edge of the left. Inhale, reach your left arm high and exhale. Twist to the right, hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Lift the chest as you press the sitting bones down into the floor. And look out over your right shoulder and twist a little deeper on the exhale. Deep breath into the body. Deep breath out of your body. Follow it. One more. 
and then release, come back to center. Extend the right leg forward next to the left. Inhale, pull the left knee in. Exhale, open the left knee out to the side. Press the left foot into the thigh. Lengthen the hips, square the hips. Exhale, fold forward, Janushasana. Keep pressing the left foot into the right thigh bone, rolling the left knee down to the floor, and trying to open the left hip as much as you can. Clearing the channels in the hips, clears the channels towards the mind. Opening the hips. No more sitting in chairs. One more breath. Inhale, come up. Pull the left knee into the chest and place the left foot on the outside edge of the right knee. Reach the right arm to the sky, ground your seat and exhale, twist. Look out over your left shoulder. Lift the chest, press the seat down, lengthen and twist more. To find deeper twists, you have to lengthen the spine. So keep pressing the seat down and the crown of the head up and twisting in deeper. Wonderful. Stay for one more deep breath. Inhale, come back to centre. Extend both legs forward in front of you. Separate the feet hip distance apart. Place the hands next to the sitting bones. Inhale, press the floor with the hands and lift your seat into a tabletop. One straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Chest open and expand. Push the air deep into the back of the lungs. Press the feet down with the hips a little bit higher. Keep opening your shoulders. Stay with this. And release the seat to the floor. Pull the knees into the chest, extend the arms forward in front of you, and find your way into Navasana. <laughs> that was a creative way to come into Navasana. <laughs> Lift the chest and extend the crown of the head back. Pull the knees in a little bit tighter, tighten the waist here, we're toning the waist heavily here. Now compose your thoughts, if it gets hard, stay with it, don't run away from it. We have states of being, we have craving and we have aversion. If we're craving something, we're rejecting our circumstances and we're trying to idolise a new reality, placing it in front of us and then going after it. It pulls us out of the present moment. Good, you can release down the feet to the floor. If we're averting something, we're rejecting what we already have. We're trying to fixate ourselves onto a different reality rather than accepting the one that is in front of us. First step to finding the present moment, finding this yoga practice, is finding it. A state of being content with what is. Lift the legs, come into Navasana again. Lift the crown of the head, lift the chest, be content with what is. Don't try and change anything, just follow the process. Lift the chest a little more. Good, stay strong, like a mountain. doesn't depend on external influences for its stability. Good, bend the knees, place the feet to the floor. Rest here. We'll do one more before we finish. Good. And lift it back up, fine. Push the air deep into the back of the lungs. Tighten the waist, pull the core in. Point the feet if you can, and look to your toes. If you want a little bit more, you'll extend through your legs. It will make it slightly more challenging. And then release all the way down onto your back. Take the legs overhead into a halasana position. Now if your feet find the floor, just interlace your fingers. Walk your shoulders underneath you first. What are you doing? What, the? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> shoulder stand. Come into shoulder stand. Bring the hands to support the lower back and extend the legs to the sky. <laughs> Press the elbows down and lift the legs a little bit higher. Keep working the insides of the legs towards the sky. Roll the shoulders underneath your body a little bit more and bring the elbows together. The more you press weight into the elbows, the more you'll be able to extend your legs high. You're looking for one straight line from your ankles to your shoulders. Deep, full breath. Let the mind be fully quiet and relaxed.
and then take the legs overhead into a halasana position. If your feet find the floor, you can interlace your fingers. Press your forearms down into the mat. Challenge yourself to lift your hips a little bit higher. Try and tra keep your spine as straight as you can. You don't want to curve too much through the spine. Then bend the knees, take the knees either side of the ears. Squeeze the knees in closer to the head. Release the palms flat to the floor, lower yourself all the way down onto your back. Press the elbows down into the floor, lift the chest, open through the chest, take the crown of the head back, Matsyasa, fish pose. Really push the air into the lungs here, expand through the side walls of the lungs as you breathe in and out. And press the elbows down, lift the chest, tuck the chin into the chest and lower yourself onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest, rock yourself up into a child's pose. And then we'll come into a headstand. So if you don't have a regular headstand practice, you might want to move yourself close to a wall. If you do have a headstand practice, interlace your fingers and take the crown of the head to the floor. Extend through the legs. Now walk the feet slightly closer towards you. Now, once you're here, if you feel strong enough, press the elbows down, pull one knee into the chest first, and then the other. If that's about as far as you go, just stay there. If you feel confident, press the elbows down and extend the legs higher. Keep the pressure of the elbows trying to squeeze towards each other. And then challenge the inside of your legs to lengthen. It will pull you into one straight line. And just stay here. becomes a little bit shaky, just pull the core in a little bit tighter. Tighten through the waist. Very slowly make your way down when you're ready. Find your way into a child's pose. Find your way to a comfortable seated position. You can sit on a block or a blanket or whatever you have at home to make your seat very comfortable. Close down the eyes, make your seat so you don't have to move. Have your spine fully extended and upright. Shoulders are away from the ears. Turn the attention to the breathing. As you breathe in, you are fully aware of the in-breath. You are aware of the breath going into your body. You feel the chest rise. As you breathe out, you're fully aware of the out-breath. You feel the breath leave your body. You feel the chest fall. This Mindful awareness of the breath. It's your first start, first part of learning to meditate. Through being mindfully aware of the breath, we fixate the mind on a single point for the first time. It's probably unlikely that the mind will want to stay on this one point, but what we're doing throughout the course of the practice is constantly reasserting to the mind that it will take its way back to the breath. We intentionally shift the breath. Every time we shift back to the breath, the mind becomes trained to be attentive to the breath. Over a course of time of following your breath, naturally it will become completely autonomous, that your mind fixates itself on the breath when you become still like this. And eventually it will lead to a constant steady stream of singular one-pointed attention. 
So just follow the breath with as much humility, which is much patience as you can. And the longer you follow the breath, the more it will start to reveal the benefits of having a steady, stable mind. But you have to be still. that you become distracted, starting to entertain a thought, just slowly with patience and like a mother holding her baby, you just move yourself back to following the breath. All the patience in the world to develop this practice. No rush. disturbance as possible, just take your way onto your backs, take Shavasana.
have a backbone to be fully supported. Zero engagement to any muscles, really relax the muscles in the face. Let the eyes sit heavy into the back of the head. Nowhere to be, nothing to do. Just be present with the moment, be present with what is. And slowly starting to move the fingertips and the toes. Maybe you turn the head from side to side. Take the arms overhead and roll them to one side of your body. Make your way to a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. We dedicate this practice to the benefit of all beings. May all beings be happy and may all beings be at peace. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a lovely day. Much love from Barcelona. <laughs>